Hi, everybody. We're going to take a moment to review how to access your digital textbook. So remember, when you open up a new tab, you're going to go to Clever. You can find Clever in your Shen School's bookmarks. So if you click on your Shen School's bookmarks, when you go to Instructional Resources, you should see Clever. You're going to want to log in with Google once you've opened Clever. Within Clever, you should see a black square with the letters NGL Sync. You're going to go ahead and click on NGL Sync. So that's the little icon for your textbook. It's going to take you to the NGL Sync homepage. You're only going to have one course, obviously, um, and you're going to go ahead and hit launch course. Your screen here is going to look a little different than mine. I'll switch over to the student view so you can see. But once you've hit launch, you are able to navigate the different units and sections within your book. You should be able to see over on the right hand side of your student edition your assignments. So any section of the textbook that has been assigned to you will pop up over here. For example, your section here 2.2 early history of the Silk Roads. So you can go ahead and click on that. You should be able to access the section. You can obviously navigate over here on the left hand side as well. And just keep in mind as you read the textbook, there's a couple of features that you might want to keep in mind. This little button here is going to make the reading level a little bit easier to understand. So if you go ahead and click that, it'll simplify the text for you. You can add notes as you're reading. So if you go ahead and click add note, you can write down notes. And then you can also use a highlight feature. So if you find something important, say a definition or a vocab word, you can go ahead and highlight the text as you read. When you are done, Reading through the section, you should be able to see little arrow over here on the right. You're going to use that to answer any questions that might have been assigned to you. So you can go ahead and write your answer. All right, and then hit submit when you are done. If you keep clicking, you'll see each of the questions that are assigned for this particular section of the book.